Um, so you're still going through your emotional process, um, but your soul has already been through that once before, right? Um, no, this is the first time I've gone through the emotional process. For Corny, it's the second time, but it's actually the first time for me. So, yeah. when... Well, I didn't go through this emotional process in the first century. That's right. Yeah, but when you were in the spirit world and you went through the spheres... Yeah, I didn't you, go through it then either. So you just automatically were on the second, 22nd level? No, no. The emotional process uh, is about two... There's two facets. There's the releasing of error-based emotions, which happens until the seventh sphere of your progression. Then on the eighth sphere of your progression onwards, now all you're doing is simulating truth-based emotions. So the error-based emotion process only happens up until the seventh sphere. Right. So, so I, I didn't go through, and it, and it was all, for me in the first century, it was all about assimilating new truths. For me now, it's about getting rid of the errors as well as the truths. Yeah. So for me, this is a very new process for me. Um, but but not for others of the 14. They've been through it once before. Does that make sense? No? Is that because... That didn't make sense. Sort of Tell you what you're feeling. But um, I'm just like, if you, like, you're still working through your stuff, right? Yep. So you're saying what you went through in the first century was the stuff from the seventh level and above. What I went through in the first century was, um, at the time of my birth, I was in the sixth sphere, <coughs> and all I had to do is work through truths in the seventh sphere, yeah. and then I became at one with God. I didn't have lots and lots of really hard emotions to process, yeah. although I had a lot of negative events happen to me at different times, I didn't have a lot of hard emotions to process. Now, I've got all of those events to process through these new emotions which are through the reincarnation process. And that document that I mentioned earlier, Reincarnation and Divine Love, will explain all of that if you want to read that document. It's a long document though, it's 100 pages long. Yeah. So, are you able to work through up to the 22nd sphere here on Earth? Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone is. You are. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask, why do we have to have so many lives? What is, what is the... Oh, we don't have so many lives. We only yeah, have one. What, but, what, but what I'm saying is, why do we have to have... have we're the same spirit or soul yeah. all the time, but yeah. why do we have to go through several bodies? We don't. Is, is it a journey of a cycle so that we learn to become stronger souls for whatever reason? No. What did I say? We don't. We don't have to. <coughs> there are people in the 22nd sphere of the spirit world who have only... They've never, they've never come back here again. They've only been here once. No, in fact, in fact, there is, there, like I said in the original presentation, up until 1960, there was nobody who was reincarnated. If you can imagine, the second sphere is even more beautiful than anything here on Earth. Sure. So imagine getting up to 20 seconds. Why the hell would you want to come back? <laughs> <laughs> And particularly if you could progress all through that without coming back anyway, why would you want to come back? There's only one reason, <laughs> isn't there? So it's not about clearing away karma or any of those things that people continually teach. Right? The truth is you have one life. You are one soul with one life. I've just had one life. It started 2,000 years ago. My first conscious recollection was when I was, well, before I was born in the first century. And from up until now, I have all of these different recollections of my one life. So you've been through several different bodies to this body now? Right? No. Oh. I've only been, I've had one body in the first century and one body now. The same body? No. No, different bodies because I incarnated again. Okay. I've only had, I had two bodies. So all your experiences from that first century to now? All of them have been in the spirit world. Yep. I have nev never returned to Earth in the last 2,000 years. Right? Ever. So you know how people say, oh, we come back and we come back and we come back again? Yes. Well, that's all not true. That's what I'm, going to, that's what I'm telling you. I understand that. It is possible to come back, but the discussion about reincarnation is probably a different discussion that we need to spend more time on. But 
it is possible to come back, but only once you reach the 20 second sphere condition. And the first time we reached that was, um, I was aware of it in 1945, on Earth time, that, that, that it would be possible to come back for the first time. Before then, I believed that I couldn't come back. Incarnation yeah, like you know, Well, if you look at the definition of incarnation, it's where the soul goes into a material body and a spirit body that's been created by its parents. So if you look at reincarnation, the definition that, I'll, that I'm using, it's where the soul again goes into a body that's being created, physical body and a spirit body being created by a group of parents, by, by two parents. That's reincarnation. So, so the truth is there is no reincarnation in the spirit world, but you do go through this transformative process in the spirit world, where when you go from one sphere to the next, it appears to people looking at you that you change and, and your body in fact dis seems to disappear but what's actually happening is that you're moving up a, sp uh, up a sphere in love which is actually vibrational in energy as well so you're at a different energy vibration and that causes people to look at you and they can't see you the same anymore and, uh, and because of that reason a lot of people then think the person is reincarnated even perhaps and that happens a lot in the first sphere where people, when they disappear from the first sphere to the second, all of their friends that they were with in the first sphere think, oh, they must have gone back to Earth. Mm. But in fact, they've gone to the second sphere. The first sphere spirits can't just go into the second sphere. It has to be like, through their progress. And the second, any higher ones can come back down if they choose. <coughs> I was going to ask someone who has an answer. Okay. Talking about the, the vibrational level as you go through the spheres, yep. is, is that the same, that's the same sort of feeling that we're getting now when, as we progress? Yes. On this, on this yes. You, you will feel as you release certain emotions and you get into new condition of love and where you're reflecting more and more powerful love from yourself to others, you will feel quite different, different as you progress. So as you progress on the divine love path, you will feel very, very different in each step that you work your way through. So, for instance, and many of you have yet to make a transition into truth. What I mean by that is where you are truthful 100% of the time with every single person you meet, with every single emotion that you've got inside of you. Right. So you'd admit that you're not there quite yet. Right? Okay. Now, that transition is like once you, once you enter that state, that new state, you will feel totally different than you had did moments before. Now, it requires you dealing with lots of different emotions to enter that state. So the emotion of wanting to please others, you know, that gets dealt with. And the emotion of wanting to, you know, get something from others by modifying how you feel, that gets dealt with. And as you deal with quite a few of those different emotions, you'll get to a point where you're in truth 100% of the time with 100% of the people and, you're, and you let yourself emotions flow. Now, you can get into that state pretty much 100% of the time, no matter what sphere you're in. But it requires you having this specific realizations about truth and how important truth is. Now, once you get to that realization, you will feel so totally different that you'll know, even in the spirit world, you've got a new place there too. You will feel that inside of yourself. Right? And in fact, right at the moment, you are creating a home for yourself in the spirit world, as well as here, by just your condition changing. Right? So, so as your condition changes, new home, your home changes in the spirit world as well. Right? And that's a reflection of the changes you are making inside of your soul. And all of the garbage that's getting released and the changes that are happening inside of you. <coughs> 